All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean up the bottom of one of our pots and to put the stamp on it. So you can see here how, you know, it's a little rough. There's some crusties there. Um, if there's any big crusties, you can sometimes just take your nail and just scratch them off. This one seems to be pretty good. You're gonna take a damp sponge so you get your sponge wet and squeeze it all the way out, okay? We don't wanna add a lot of water. This kind of works as like um, a damp uh, sandpaper. So you can do two things. You can either lay it in your lap if you um, don't have any like buttons or anything on your pants. And then you're just gonna rub this a little bit to get rid of any lines. You can also hold it like this if that's more comfortable. You don't want to put it down on the table. Um, you need a soft surface just to smooth that out. If you have a spot that's a little bit tricky, if you can see that right there, I'm going to take my finger, which also works as a sandpaper. I'm just going to kind of smooth that out with my fingerprint. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult, so we're going to have Sage show you how to clean this one up. So in order to clean this one up, she's going to get her sponge just a little bit more damp. So that she can rub those areas to be more smooth. So something like this might just take a little bit longer. You can see the shine there that she is using a little bit more water. But she can rub those areas smooth. Now these pots are leather hard, so she can hold on to it. It's not going to get dented or anything. And there she has it all smoothed out. After you get with, done with that, just check the rim. A lot of times we just need to just go over the rim really gently with the sponge just to kind of clean up any finger marks. Shouldn't take any more than a few seconds. For our signature stamp, you're gonna go to where the spout is. You're gonna go on the opposite side on the bottom. So spout, opposite side on the bottom. Obviously make sure the stamp, this is my personal stamp, but we'll have the potter stamp. You're gonna go in this area. You don't wanna do it right in the bottom because uh, that's the weakest part and we want them all to be uniform. So I'm gonna rock side to side and back up and down side to side just to make sure you get a really nice print. You can't see it rocking side to side, but I am pushing presser, pressure side to side. And then to finish that off, again, squeeze your sponge out really good. Get rid of any extra water and just a couple swipes over that just to make sure that there's no raised up areas. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this looks really scary, but you'll understand why we need to do it this way in a second. So we have the um, banding wheel here and then a jar of underglaze to raise it up even more. Um, we're gonna be putting underglaze transfers on. So that are these things. We do not want these to get wet yet. So you have to make sure that this area is dry. Don't set it down because there might be a little bit of water like this situation I literally just did. Um, so make sure that at your station you have a dry spot to set this. Now we are going to measure two and a half inches up. So in the front two and a half inches up and we're going to make a little mark. Just a really light mark there. And then on the side two and a half inches up, back two and a half inches up. We want each one of these to be as close to the same as possible. Okay, so those are two and a half inches up. Um, if you have a little end like this on here, um, 
we're just gonna rip off that. And actually this is fine to have a jaggedy edge. Now, we're gonna start in the middle. So we're pretending like this is our Iowa State Fair um, stamp. We're gonna start in the middle and we're gonna hold the top of this to that two and a half inch mark. This is why we needed it to be lifted up because this is gonna go down a little bit further. Then we're gonna turn this around while we hold this here and move this to the next mark and the last mark, okay? I'm gonna flip my hand around here so that I can hold it at the two and a half mark here and the two and a half mark here. Then I'm not gonna worry about the other side right now. I'm gonna take a damp sponge. It's it's it has a few drops in it, but it's not soaking wet. And I'm gonna start pressing, I should say, the darker side of the transfer goes towards the pot. I'm gonna start pressing. See how there's like a little gap here? Can you see that gap? Um, the nice thing about transfers, if we just push this, it will just kind of fold in on itself. And then in the end, you, you won't know that that gap was there. So we're just pressing along the top to get the top secure so it sticks. I'm gonna get a little bit more water on there. So now that is stuck. I'm gonna dry my hand off. And then I can easily go over to the other side, match it up with this two, two and a half mark and the back two and a half mark then i only have to hold it with this hand i can go in here press that down our goal is that it's straight going all the way around once i have the top all um, laying down then i get a little bit more water on my sponge again i don't want my sponge like dripping wet but i do want to have some drips in it. I'm applying pressure and rubbing. You'll get some wrinkles, that's fine. You won't really see that on the end product. You're not just, when, when you're rubbing, your sponge is gonna kind of um, get squished up like that. You want it to be more dense. So it's like this dense object pressing against that transfer. You do want to make sure that you go all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. Now, you might get a little bit of blue squeaking out here. If that happens, just rinse your sponge out and just gently wipe it off. So I'm gonna go over this one more time, making sure that I'm going all the way to this bottom edge and this is why the banding wheel is nice, is because we can just freely turn it as we go. And then we want it up on this jar so this can hang over. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and take off the paper. If by some chance, you start taking off the paper and it didn't transfer, you can just very carefully put the paper back on and rub it some more. But it does transfer pretty easily. So here we go. Taking the transfer paper off. That line should be pretty straight. And it should go around two and a half inches all the way around the pot. So when your transfer is on here and you're rubbing, try not to rub with the sponge. So the transfer's not on right now, but just for an example, the transfer's on. Try not to rub down on the undercut. We wanna just rub like up and down to this point because ideally we don't want a lot of the transfer on here. It's okay if it happens. If it happens, we're just gonna leave it there. It's a handmade object. It shows that an artist was involved, um, but we're gonna try not to have that happen. 